I'm Milan. And I'm in the middle, and we're here today to show you the new sets in the Lego Botanical Collection. So Milan, what was the inspiration for the bouquet? The original Lego flower bouquet that we did was very much like a, a curated arrangement of, of flowers, and what we really wanted to do with this one was uh, capture kind of some of the wildflowers out in nature. So the inspiration is the kind of flowers you'd see in fields and by the roadside, uh, out in woodland. Yeah, because I was actually thinking about this one. That is something that you see when you drive, right? Yeah, lupins, you, you see them. For a walk. Yes, yeah. So these are actually native to North America, but you, you see them all over the place now. And they're a really, really interesting plant. And um, colorful. With, with these, we've gone for pink and purple, and we've captured the petals in a really interesting way. So here we've used the little pirate hats from our, our minifigures. So that's it's a really a nice way to use it. I think it's so much fun. Um, so that's lavender. So we actually did lavender in the, the last bouquet, but this is a, a different species of lavender. So this looks more like English lavender. And we've used the, the minifigure head here to, to get the shape on the top. And I think you really made some, some nice looking leaves. And I also like that they're a bit darker, so they are great together with the colorful flowers. Yeah, we went for our ferns for the, the foliage. We have three of those. Thank you. The, the, um, I also like the difference in the height, so when you make your case, you can have like a really nice shape to it. And you can customize the height as well. So actually, yeah. that one that you're holding, the larkspur, you can notice on the bottom there's some some extra parts so that you can shorten the stem, and you can combine it with with other others that we have in here. There's a lot of height here, so some of the smaller ones are kind of to fill out the bottom of the bouquet. So this is this is cow parsley. Where I'm from in England, this stuff is just absolutely everywhere on the sides of footpaths and roads and, and fields. It's interesting to hear the difference, right? So when you go somewhere and you see it, it's a very exotic thing and then it's just an everyday thing for others. Exactly, yeah. I also think these are really interesting because you also have here some nice pieces of bricks that you're using. We've used this one, you might recognise actually. The, the bucket the at the bottom here. That's from uh, Fabulan. But also this. So on the Gerbera daisy here, we've used the minifigure oars to create the petals, and they're, they're native to, to South Africa. And the petals we've used here are yeah, little minifigure oars. These normally get used for, for rowing boats, but today but it... they're part of a, a flower bouquet. And I think that's one, of the, that's one of the really interesting things about the Lego Botanical Collection. When we're, as designers, making these sets, one of the challenges is, you know, Lego is, is generally very square and blocky. Yeah. How do you use pieces in an interesting way to capture a really organic form? And flowers are the epitome of a really organic yeah, form. Yeah, it's the opposite, right? Exactly. I think the feeling I have is that when, when we are creating things like this, you know, when we, when we are to talk about flowers, when we are to do things that are more organic, is to, to close my eyes and then see everything in a new way. And the, the way that we went about making these flowers was instead of choosing the flower and then picking the Lego bricks to, to fit the flower, we actually went down into our element warehouse where we keep all the Lego bricks and picked out the elements that inspired us to think of certain flowers. Mm. So, for example, the, the cornflowers. We have here a crown element, and it's actually a, a minifigure piece for making a brick-built crown. And when we saw that, we, we just it reminded us of the kind of star-shaped uh, conical petals on, on the cornflower. And the, the trick came as how to arrange them in, in that circular pattern, because most Lego shapes are, are fairly even-sided, yeah. so finding something that was round where we could connect them all was a, a really fun challenge. And then we thought, just for fun, we'd throw in a single little white yeah. white flower as well. These come in a huge variety of colours, but I think the blue is the most uh, iconic really one. really iconic. Yeah. The last one is... These are Welsh poppies, so they're, they're native to Britain, and we've used some funny pieces. <laughs> yeah, I love the centre of it because that's really kind of far from what I would expect in a flower, but it, it works so well. It's the, the rim of a car, and that's, that's given us the, the really interesting shape. It's so much fun. I would like to see a lot, of, a lot of these flowers together. So having a combination maybe where we look into the different kinds, or we could also combine the colours and then mix and match with the, the first bouquet. When you decorate with flowers, you have this where you cross the stems. Okay. It's a it's a bit different when you do it with the Lego because of the weight, but you can still do it uh, and, and get the same feeling to it when you have the vase. Do you want the these grass stems out as I well? think it would be nice to see. Okay. So I have three of these here. Yeah, I think, and then just put them in between. Okay. So, and then, then we can make them, we can move them a bit afterwards if we wanted to. Okay, so I should pull out the roses maybe. Yeah. I 
think the lavender would work even though it's more a little more purple to it but another thing you could do actually is also to have more of the same if you for example wanted more roses into it it would also look nice you want to make a taller rose yeah, a little bit taller just one of them that's a very tall rose <laughs> yeah that's maybe a bit too tall but just give it a bit i can see we have a second lavender here which might be quite nice and this is the same actually with the lavender we could we can make it shorter so that it's differentiated yeah. from the, the previous one and the aster is going to complement the lavender really well right yes and you also have the two two snapdragons This is looking very color coordinated. <laughs> yes, it does. Maybe we should just to have a little bit of uh, difference to it, we could add uh, the two lupins, and that's also bringing some height to it. That's going to give height, um, yeah. And then I think we have used all the space in the vase. So we actually have a bit of white in both of the bouquets. So do you want to put it in? Maybe in the front here. It's a nice bouquet. I think it's a nice bouquet. We did well. <laughs> <laughs> so. This is two ways of combining the flower bouquets. We really hope you have a great time at home experimenting with different flower arrangements. <laughs>